I met this lady and she said, the one person that I regretted not interviewing, and I've interviewed thousands of people, was my mom. So she says, I think everyone should interview their mom and it's Mother's Day and I'm doing a special Mother's Day thing. Would you interview your mom for me? And if she hadn't asked, I would never do this. <laughs> she would never do this either. But anyway, I have a whole pile of questions and we're going to ask them. So tell me about your parents. Uh, where were they born? When were they born? What memories do you have of them? Who was stricter, your mom or your dad, grandma or grandpa? Okay. I know the answer to that one. <laughs> My uh, dad was born in Ontario, and they were both born in 19, 1895 and 94. One was wow. in 95, and the other was 94, 1894. So they're just before the turn of the century. And um, my mom was born in Nebraska. Oh, I didn't in know a that. small town, I think. And she was, her father came over from Germany, so she, her, her background was German. Yeah. So my my dad's side, they they had been in Ontario for quite a few, uh, well probably about three generations before. Oh. So, so, so they we don't were know. well, no, they were <laughs> Irish and they came from Ireland and mostly from Ireland. Yeah, oh. settled on farms. And uh, Grandma was way stricter yes. than Grandpa. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Anyone that knew them would know that. Yes. Do you have a vivid memory of something you did that you were disciplined for? Oh. The perfect little girl. Oh, I was always being disciplined. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what for. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you were innocent. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so what were you like as a child? Uh, what did you like to eat? What did you do for fun? What were your favorite toys well, or games? We, uh, we, I was on a farm, so we ate, I ate everything. It was all fresh. Most of They grew their own had chickens and fresh eggs and so what meat. did you have in the vegetable garden you had carrots potatoes yeah tomatoes tomatoes beans yeah beans and peas corn C corn corn yeah was, was there blueberry uh, not blueberries raspberries or no strawberries? rhubarb was the only thing rhubarb, oh, rhubarb. yeah okay did but they make they, rhubarb pie yeah my mom was really good at making pies she made good pies but um and then squash Oh, yeah. yeah. But she, they weren't a very good gardener. And I don't think the soil was very good. Mm. But So the gardens weren't. We had lots of potatoes, enough to keep, keep, keep you through. Keep, the, so basically keep, whatever they made or grew that you ate in yeah. the wintertime. Yeah, ate it all. Yeah. We actually were talking earlier, and you were telling me that the winters were a lot harsher than, than they are now. Than they are now. <laughs> yeah, we had lots of snow, and it would be below zero for days on end. Yeah. Yeah. Always and, very you know, cold. We, you're very cold, windy. Fahrenheit, zero Fahrenheit. You're talking yeah, about. Yeah. Yeah. Not zero Celsius. That's right. Yeah. Then so, and, the, and uh, you know we just had this little house and I don't know if there's any insulation in it at all but we just had a cook stove which is we which we used for cooking and it heated the kitchen which was uh, was small and then we had a, another pot belly stove they called them. Where you put wood and coal in and to heat up the, yeah, house. Rest of the house. The rest of the house. So in the mornings when you got up, it, it was, was cold. Freezing. Yeah. Like there was water in the pitcher. Or <laughs> ice, ice. ice in the pitcher. <laughs> so did you ever see, ever have a secret place that you went and hid if you were upset with uh, your brothers? Or? No, I don't think so. Did you have cows? Yeah, we had cows and pigs and horses. Did you, so you rode horses? Yeah. Wow. I never think of you as a horse rider. <laughs> I wasn't. I didn't do it a lot. But yeah. okay. So, do you have any heroes or role models when you were a child? Oh, can't think of anybody. None of your There's brothers a, were your heroes. No, really. <laughs> <laughs> they were just pests. <laughs> well, and it wasn't like there was a lot of people around either. No, no. So, but, but there's. We knew the neighbors really well. Because they'd been there for... Yeah, right. But how far away were they? Well, the closest neighbor was about a mile. A mile, yeah. yeah. So that's a totally different type of <coughs> lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. But if you needed help and they were, they, you know, they were around. Or we, they had social evenings and mm. they played cards in the winter. And what was your like, favorite TV show? We didn't have a TV. <laughs> oh, so what did you listen to on the radio? Oh, uh, Jack Danny. And there was a soap opera was called, I forgot what it was called, something about, oh, Lux, Lux Theater, Lux, 
like uh, which was a soul break uh-huh on the radio on the radio yeah it was a theater something or other and uh i forget what else so uh what we was all your... sit around the way and of course my brothers and dad listened to the hockey game i mean yeah. they they uh, so it was always Saturday toronto and nights, maple leafs yeah, yeah toronto maple leafs yeah and Foster Hewitt. Foster Hewitt, right? Yeah. So, what was your favorite social networking site online? Like Facebook wasn't around then, no. so we telephone. <laughs> <laughs> also, tell us about the phone. Yeah. So you had touch. You had, you had no, no iPhones. No, no. <laughs> we had this big telephone with a, a receiver, or a speaker, a speaker, and then a receiver that you held to your ear, uh-huh. and you had, and we were on a party line. So you, and you, there was a ring. So I can't remember what our ring was. But you could so tell when they were calling you, yeah. not somebody else. Yeah. But if it you was, wanted to listen. Yeah, everybody listened. <laughs> the phone like would what else ring, have you got to do, right? right? The phone would ring and they'd say, oh, that's so-and-so. And you'd pick it up. And, and, but people could hear the click, so you had to be really careful. And then you had to be quiet because you didn't want it, you anybody didn't to hear. Know. But everybody <laughs> knew you were listening anyway. Sometimes they'd, they'd be talking about something and they'd this is not right. Tilly or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how did your family celebrate holidays like Thanksgiving or Christmas, Easter, New uh, Year's? I can't remember Thanksgiving, Christmas. Christmas we always got together with our uncle and his, their family. And it would, they took turns. One year they'd have Chris, we'd have Christmas and, next, and then they'd have New Year's dinner. New oh, okay. Year's Day wasn't New Year's Eve. And then uh, the next year, it'd be opposite. You'd switch yeah, back and forth. Exactly. And we just, all we did was eat. But there weren't a lot of presents because we didn't have a lot of money. Right. There, we always had a stocking of kids. So it would be filled with a, with a Japanese orange on the, oh, bar, yeah. on the toe <laughs> and some nuts and some candy and maybe a pair of socks or something. You know, right. it wasn't very much. Yeah. No, but I got dolls. Usually I uh, Christmas, <coughs> I get a doll. Okay. Um, so what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a teacher. Oh, you missed it. You became a nurse. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so what happened that you decided the different? I don't know what happened. I think maybe because of my sister died. I had a sister that died. And, oh. and I thought, gee, maybe I should just be a nurse after that. Oh. You know, she was going to be the nurse and I was going to be the teacher. I mean, this was when we were, t- she mm-hmm. was yeah. six and I was 10. So yeah. so uh, she was oh. always going to be a nurse and I was going to be a teacher. Huh, that's a good one. Yeah. So what big world events do you remember when you were growing up? I can't remember any of them. World War One. Oh War yeah, II. there was war, war. Yeah, World War Two, not World War One, dear. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the one now that now that you say that, I uh, uh, one of the neighbor boys was killed during the war. In the war, I remember that very clearly because he was a best friend of my brother's. Mm. And he was very upset about that. It was at the app, I think, uh, and then he went off. But he never got overseas, so he wasn't never in danger. Of, this is your brother? My brother. Lauren. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're, now we're going to move to life events in your adulthood. So how did you decide what you want to do with your life? How do you feel about that choice? Well, I'm, I'll just be quiet. And, <laughs> well, no, I became Carter. a nurse and I was very happy doing that. I loved it, actually. Yeah. Unfortunately, then I met my husband, and I never really well, did much nursing. But you became a mom, and you did a great <laughs> job. I mean, just look. <laughs> so, speaking of dad, how did you meet him? He was a friend of uh, my girlfriend's boyfriend. Okay, so, so it was sort of like a blind date. Oh, okay. So yeah, your yeah. friend dragged you along. His friend dragged him along, yeah. and and yeah. that was the end of it. Yeah. Was it love at first sight? Well, he, yeah, he thought it was. I wasn't so sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was 18, I think. So, oh, so how so, many years did you date before you got married? Four. Four, okay. Yeah. No one's ever made that long with me. No, no. <laughs> Especially these days, they would never go that long. <laughs> Not living together or anything. Right. So what did you like about him? Oh, he was a lot of fun. Yeah. Same, same thing that... <coughs> All his life, we know about him. Right? Yeah, yeah. 
So when did you get married? How old were you and where? I got married in, in uh, 1954 in Regina and I was 21. Oh, good. And I was born in 1956. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the wedding like? Uh, we got married in, on, in November in Regina, so it was cold out. And it was Grey Cup Day. Grey Cup Day. Yeah, because I remember still to this day, all of my uncles are mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we weren't interested. And of course, there was no TV, so it was all radio. So I, we didn't pay any attention to the Grey Cup. But right. anyway, uh, so yeah, the Grey Cup was on during the ceremony and people were sneaking out and listening to the radio <laughs> <laughs> and in the kitchen. So we had it in a church, which I just picked because, well, I didn't really know the minister or anything. But anyway, I sort of knew, but that's it. And we had the, then we had the reception right after in, in the church hall. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, and then, yeah, so then we left. But it was, it was a, it, there was very little snow on the ground, which was unusual for the end of November. But right. but it was cold, and then and then when we we went home and changed and got, took and left in the car, and it was it was blowing then, and there was snow, a little bit of snow. Mm. So oh nice. So we got away without, and <clears throat> we went to the Black Hills in North, in North Dakota. Oh. And and we used we didn't have a car so we used uh, borrowed Dale's car Dale, <laughs> Dale's or Dale's I think it was Dale's. <laughs> <laughs> how is my father mother like me unlike me so how am I like dad and unlike dad and how am I like you? Well, like you're you? like your dad because you're always joking around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nobody can we tell stories just like him. Like <laughs> like you're doing that with Pat, you know, she asked you something and you made up this story oh. and she didn't know whether you were <laughs> telling the truth or not. Right. That's like your dad. But I think you're more easygoing like me than your dad was. Oh. He wasn't easygoing? No, he was pretty uptight. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I, okay, good. So what do you remember about me when I was born? And what about when I was younger than I am now? Okay, when you were born, you were the ugliest baby in the whole what? nursery. <laughs> you know, those days, we, I was in the hospital for about six days, and every day your dad would come up and we'd go to the nursery. Cause the, the, and you'd see they, all the babies. you all see all the babies, and we'd look, oh, let's tell everybody that that one over there is ours. <laughs> <laughs> But you were very skinny. Okay, well, before you go on to uh, the next part of this question, what do you remember about when Arlene was born? Oh, well, I expected a boy. I was really, ex <laughs> really surprised. So that was... <laughs> I was a big surprise. Then we didn't have a name. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you had the boy's name picked out, Murray. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and she was probably the prettiest well, baby. Well, no, but she, was, she, wasn't, she was a little chubbier, and so she wasn't so skinny. Skinny as you were, <laughs> and uh, and she had a little bit of red hair. So your dad was oh, he was happy, delighted, delighted about delighted that. that. Yeah, your your hair was dark. So this section is identity. And do you, you didn't you? Did, I, did, I was supposed <laughs> right. to tell about when you were a little bit old. <laughs> yeah, well, I just wanted to skip over that. Okay, so what about when I was younger? Well, you were so cute. You oh. were actually, being the ugliest baby, you turned out to be the cutest little two-year-old. And you were so active. You were crawling all over. Well, even when before, when you were a year old, you were climbing all over the furniture, you know. And you were in mischief. You would open the, the cupboard under the sink and pull, pull everything out. <laughs> and then crawl in. Oh, I couldn't keep up to it. Anyway, anyway then you grew up. <laughs> to be the handsome man that you see before you now. Uh, okay, so identity. Uh, do you know the meaning of the family name? Well, and I think we'll go to the maiden family name, Halbert. Halbert is... Uh, it's... Uh, he, they, came, they came from uh, Ireland, but your dad always said it, that was not... A, well, it isn't an Irish name, it was an English name. So he figured that they, oh. they'd come from England over to Ireland. So that's about all I know. Mm. So are there stories about the origins of the... Well, you just told us one yeah, story about yeah, the origin. Yeah. So how are you like your mom and unlike your mom? Well, I think I look like my mom. Oh, okay. 
every time I will look in my mirror, I think, oh, there's my mother. <laughs> now that I'm older. <laughs> Do you not think that? <laughs> no. I'm thinking maybe in 15 years you might look like her. <laughs> uh, and I, but I think I'm sort of easygoing like my dad. My dad is very easygoing. Mm -hmm. Easy to get along with. Right. But I, a lot of people argue with that about easy to get along with. <laughs> <laughs> I not, never wanted to me. be like my mother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I am. Well, she always gave me Cheerios for breakfast. That was nice. Uh, if you could have three wishes, what would they be? No. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I wish my dad was still alive. <laughs> mm, yeah. Uh, that would be a biggie. Other than that, I'm pretty good at health. So. Okay. What do you think has stayed the same about you throughout about you throughout your life? What do you think has changed? I've stayed about the same weight, which is happiness. Happy. I remember on your twenty fifth wedding anniversary, you went and put your wedding dress right, on, yeah. and Dad, he was just like <laughs> he couldn't put his wedding suit on. No, <laughs> but I mean, he was he was like, "Wow, what a beautiful wife I have!" Yeah, yeah. brought back a lot of memories. Yeah. But as far as the personnel, I don't know if I've changed or not. I think I probably have. Mellowed out a little bit. Yeah. Well, well I've do. certainly learned a lot, you know, more than I did when I, you know. Yeah. You, well, everybody learns. To we really, hope so. Yeah. Well, uh, what things are important to you now and why? Well, my family's important to me. And your health? And my health, yeah. But it's good. Okay. If you could go back to any age, what age would it be and why? Oh, it was when I was 50. I don't know. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I guess it was before. It was, it was when you kids were, were in university. That was a great time when you're in, mm. in, in Winnipeg. You know, yeah. on Elm Street. Yeah. On uh, Montrose. Montrose Street. Yeah, that was we a good so time. We had so much fun, you know. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, yeah I'll never forget the the... Monty Python's Silly Walk or oh, whatever yeah. it was. Yeah. You you thought it. We watched it and you just thought, and it's not funny. So I got up and I started doing the Silly Walk and Dad got up and started doing it and you just howled and howled and howled. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't much for Monty Python. No. I never watched it. You were a great sport though because you would watch some stuff with us that, that, you know, we knew you didn't want to watch it but you were there. Oh, but didn't have much choice. We only had one TV. Yeah. Oh, and the other thing I remember, I don't know, I was on one side, Dad was on the other, and he was bugging me, and he kept putting his hand by your cheek. Oh, yeah. And I went to hit it, and then he moved it. And <laughs> yeah. I... <laughs> yeah, I remember that, too. <laughs> So and he just laughed and laughed and I you turned beat red and I was just ready to die. I was so embarrassed. Um, I don't know. What have you liked best about your life so far? Well, I don't know. It was just that Dad and I had such a good relationship too. That would mm -hmm. be the best. Thing. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, what do you think the turning points have been in your life? What were you like then? What was I like? Mm. So you didn't have any kids, and you did have kids. That would be a turning point. Yeah, yeah. And then moving, we every move is like a turning point. Yeah. Most of the time, I was some most every other time I was unhappy about moving. I didn't want to move. <laughs> <laughs> then, then we did move, and I'd be unhappy first. Yeah. And and then yeah. Then, you know. They, and I guess the move here when but, Dad retired would have been a big big big, big move. Yeah. But, but that was, would be the first one where you actually had a say. Because, I mean, like, normally it was Sandy yeah. go or Alex yeah. go to yeah. Calgary yeah, or go that's to, right. yeah. you know, this was the one where you guys could sit down and decide. We decided. Like, and you'd yeah. almost went to Kelowna. Yeah. No. Wasn't it? Vernon. Well, Vernon. Oh, in the, or the Okanagan. The Okanagan, yeah. Not almost, but we looked there. Yeah. We looked at White Rock. So. Oh, okay. I didn't know about that. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're way happier here oh, than yeah. the Okanagan. Yeah. Over time, how have you changed the way you look at life and at people? Well, I'm probably not so critical of people, I'm more accepting. Were there times when you were a child on the in Saskatchewan where you were like pretty much going hungry? No. No. Never. Okay. 
we were like I, we were actually we when I look back we were poor because sometimes we didn't have much of a crop but I never felt poor ever yeah mm. yeah and I mean they, we did get handouts they, they um, during the depression the Ontario sent us clothing and we'd go to the school and everybody dig around in these piles of clothes and they sent us uh, salt fish I think it was and tea tea to prepare yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so but we never starved because we had uh, you know we always had chickens and eggs and and our own meat so right yeah. so did you ever kill a chicken or yeah. kill a cow no. no. So you took an axe to a chicken's head, or yeah, really? Yeah. Killed that poor little chicken. Yeah. It was ugly. <laughs> then it jumped around. Did you ever have one that was a pet? <laughs> no. So you never picked any of them as a pet. Or no. Anything? Okay. Uh, what do you see as your place or purpose in life? How did you come to that conclusion? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. I I guess. Was to have a fam family, have some kids, they can carry on. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't ever felt I had much purpose. Uh, what would you like your children and grandchildren to remember about you? Oh, that I was a nice grandma. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best. Mom. If you could write a message to each of your children and grandchildren and put it in a time capsule for them to read 20 years from now, what would you write to each? Oh, dear. There, that's the ending one. Oh, Oh, I don't know. I'm not very be philosophical, with... you know. Because <laughs> they'd be where you are. Be honest. Be honest. Yes. And treat everybody kindly. Don't take yourself too seriously. Mm. I don't know. Those are good ones. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks, Mom. <laughs> well, uh, now I should ask them. You? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll turn this off now. Thank you for joining us, everybody. This is my mom. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. <laughs>